What is poppin' Fall Guys? Now you may be asking, Laughability, why are you making another Fall Guys video? Isn't that game dead? Well, yeah. I was just thinking to myself when playing Fall Guys though, that it would be pretty cool if I like remade a level in Roblox, and then I dragged my fans into the game to try and play it. And whoever wins gets a thousand Bobux, wow. Yeah, crazy challenge video for money, I know, so entertaining. So I just went ahead and hopped in the editor because we're gonna be building a lot this video. And I feel like the first thing that we need to add is Cole's admin. Because like, if I don't have Cole's admin, then how am I going to bully my friends when they're trying to complete the obstacle course. They can't just do it normally, Psh, I have to be an extra obstacle in their way when they're trying to beat it. That's my job as a Roblox YouTuber is to disrespect and torture my fans. And hey, if you like this video, then I might even torture you someday. I know a lot of people are gonna like this video after that, woo. All right, so the first thing we need to add is a spawn point. For the obstacle course, I feel like we're gonna have to have a place where they spawn, because if they don't spawn in a certain location, then it's just gonna be chaos, it's just gonna be terrible. And I I think I'm probably gonna pull a 5,000 IQ move and put the spawn point in the sky. So like if they fall, they can't get back up. They don't die, they're just eliminated permanently. Unless they like clutch the gulag, unless they kill each other and somehow manage to find a way back up to the obstacle course. Gosh, dude, even just starting making this now, I'm getting even more ideas for what it could be. It's a little early in the morning, so my brain hasn't necessarily started yet. So I'm sorry if I'm not that funny this video, but it certainly has started and the ideas department. So first idea, at spawn, there's gonna be a big platform that everybody spawns on. It's gonna be like a box that everybody spawns inside of, but there's going to be an entrance wall. An entrance wall that I can use F3X to disable so people can start sprinting through the entrance wall and into the obstacle course, baby. All right, here's the spawn room. I feel like this is safe enough. And it's pink, guys, just like Fall Man. Just like Fall Guy Man, Man Guy, Fall Guys. You know the game Man Fall? Fall man, guy fall man. That game has pink in it. That game has funny colors. We'll make the back wall pink. I guess we'll make the side walls pink too. We're just going all out pink here, guys. Come on. Ooh, what if we make the side walls white? I know that Fall Guys likes to do the pink and white color scheme sort of thing. So we can make the side walls white. Oh, this looks perfect. It looks just like Fall Guys, guys. It looks just, it's just like Fall Guys. Why buy Fall Guys when you can just join Laughability's obstacle course? It's basically the same thing. Come on. All right, and we also need to make a C of this, but the ceiling's gonna be transparent because I don't want people to like be shadowed by the ceiling and not be able to see anything at all. That would be kind of goofy, guys. That would be kind of silly right there. And then we'll also make the starting gate, which is going to be, I guess I'll make it red and sort of transparent. I'll make it like half transparent so they can sort of see through it so they know what's ahead. Gosh, dude, this is gonna be such a good game. I feel sorry for anybody who misses out on this game and can't play it. Oh God, I forgot to anchor any of this. That would have been terrible. All of this would have just falling apart instantly, like my life after dad left. Anyways, Fall Guys. What else is important to Fall Guys besides the obstacle course? Like, what are the stylistic choices of Fall Guys? How about we make the first obstacle just a narrow path that you have to walk on? Everybody's gonna bump each other off. It's gonna be beautiful. Sort of thin down the numbers right out of the gate, you know? And we'll make this path white because the Fall Guys color scheme, baby! Duplicate this platform, put it at the other side. We might actually want to make it, like, a lot longer than I currently have made it so it's harder to get across. Oh yeah, I can't wait for when my fans try and get across this bad boy. This is our first obstacle called the Bridge of Death. And by death, I mean very narrow bridge that not many people will be able to get across. And if they do, then uh cool, but they have to go against the next obstacle, which is going to be the Cylinders of Death. Much like in Fall Guys, in this game, there's gonna be cylinders. Or I guess spheres, because I don't know how to make cylinder. Oh, but the upside of having spheres is that we can color them, yeah. So the first sphere can be like pink, and the second sphere can be white, and they can be patterned. Looks like a tasty ice cream scoop, guys, wow. And the obstacle here is that you're gonna have to just jump over it. I'm gonna make it super big 
and you have to scale the sphere wall. We can turn it on its side. There we go. And how about we add a kill brick? Add a kill brick somewhere on the sphere so people die instantly when they touch it. Look up in models for kill brick because I don't know how to code. I am not that smart. Please do not bully me. Kill brick exclamation point. This has 637 positive votes. I feel like we should trust a kill brick that has 637 likes, guys. Come on. If that many people like this kill brick, I feel like it's trustable enough. Also, right after the gates open, I think I'm gonna move them back too. So if you die, you have to respawn back in the cube with no foreseeable way out. So it really is like an elimination basis thing. So if you get eliminated, you're not coming back, idiot. And there we go. We've placed two kill bricks that hopefully will get a few people murdered. If not, then I have failed my job as YouTuber and have failed to torture my fans. I'm so sorry. I have made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Okay, what comes next after the spheres of death or whatever I decided to name it? How about we look up fall guys in models? See what we can find from models that supports fall guys. <gasps> you can morph into fall guys? Let's go. Let's go, bro. I'm adding the fall guys morph into my game. This 100% has a virus in it. It has to have a virus somewhere inside of here, and I just don't know where yet. Oh, it looks like everything's kind of valid. Well, I'm gonna hope that it doesn't have a virus, and if it does, then I guess my game is just getting deleted from Roblox. And here, what we can do for this is make it super big, right? Make it super big so the gray sphere covers the entire ground, so you have to be a fall guy. When you spawn, you have no other choice but being a fall guy. The game was rigged from the beginning. And we'll just make it slightly over the spawn point, so they can still spawn, but they also can be forced to become a fall guy. You know the laughability motto. If you're not a fall guy, then you don't deserve to live. Right, I feel like we better get in the game to test this before we launch it, because if we don't test this and it goes poorly, then I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. Oh no! Okay, so with scaling the model, you also scale the size of the fall guy you spawn at. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna stop testing. I'm gonna make it a little smaller now. Yeah, I think if I make it a little smaller, then it might work a little better. I think these two are still connected, so it'll morph you into a fall guy. Unless the aspect of having this platform being this big just makes you gigantic, which hopefully it doesn't. Hey, we're relatively normal sized, even though I am still very large and look like a pill. Look like you'd swallow me to get rid of diarrhea. I just need to tinker with the size of this guy a little more. We fixed the issue. It's all right. Everybody who plays this game can be a fall guy. After all, that is the goal of Fall Guys Roblox. Almost normal sized, I'd say. That's pretty much good enough. We'll make it a little smaller just in case, you know, just so people can actually see their feet. Hey, look, we're normal sized again. Look, guys, I'm a fall man. I'm a fall guy. What a nice fall guy. Am I right, fellas? You can't really see my feet, but it works good enough. I look like a penguin if he had knees embedded in his body. All right, so after the death spheres, what comes next? Here, what if I make it so the death spheres, like, there's a really thin kill brick going across the middle too, so you're gonna have to jump over it even if you don't fall for the thick kill bricks? Yeah, the spheres of death just got deathier. Oh, we gotta move this up a little bit, make it a little taller. There we go. And I guess after this, we can make, like, the final decision platform. Anybody who still has made it past this point has to engage in a battle to the death, which I'm assuming is gonna be a lot of people, but we'll see, we'll see. It'll be like the finals in Fall Guys. You know the game Fall Guys? I love that game, Fall Man, am I right? So the final decision-making arena will be up here. But before the decision-making arena, I just wanna make a really tight tightrope. A really small tightrope that is very difficult to walk on, especially with the Fall Guys package, probably, just so they have to get through one last issue before the final countdown the final arena where they have to sword fight to the death. Ooh, actually, how about we make a finish line here and anybody who gets to the finish line has to get teleported to the final arena where they sword fight. Yes, it's perfect. I am a genius. Sometimes my own genius frightens me. Okay, so we'll move the finish line right here so they can see it nice and pretty. And then whenever they run inside of it, I will teleport them to the final showdown. Or we could just make it so you have to drop down into the final showdown right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Make it so this is the arena and we'll make it green so people want to step on it because usually green means victory, but in this case, it will mean more. It will mean death and destruction as well. And with that, I think that we're ready to publish this. Gosh, dude, that took a lot longer than I expected, but I'm fine with that. This is going
going to be a genuinely fun game that people will enjoy. The first of it on the Laughability channel. Usually, I suck at making games. Name, Fall Guys Laughability Edition. Description is gonna be Fall Guys Laughability Edition. I feel like I'm gonna get a DMCA takedown from Roblox. Fall Guys is gonna flag my game for copying their stuff. I'm finally gonna get banned from Roblox after all these years of waiting. Now, let's make this game public so all of the people can see our creation. Public, there we go. Access will make it for a hundred players. And now we're ready to shout it out to my innocent audience of fans. The people who trusted me the most so I will betray them first. And everyone, join my fall guy. Join my fall guy, man, guy, guy, guys, man, fall man. Everybody knows what Fall Guys man, guys, drop blocks is. Oh god, the people spawning on other people's heads won't get morphed into a Fall Guy. Oh, so many people are spawning! Oh my god! This is perfect! This is exactly what I wanted! People have officially become Fall Man Guy Man Guy Fall. How many people are in this game? I know in Fall Guys there's like 60 people. 62! We're perfect! That's basically a Fall Guys game right there, guys! Easy! Please check your internet connection and try- why? Okay, everybody is ready. Some people are glitching on top of each other to try and burst through the roof. Look at that. I'm gonna make an announcement asking, who's ready? Dear lord, chat got flooded with me so fast. Get ready to go once the wall is moved. Your objective is to make it to the green plate. Oh no, my spheres! I forgot to anchor my spheres! Hold on, I can improvise. I can make this better. Give myself F3X. I can change the size of this platform right here. Resize tool, got it, got it. And I can make this platform bigger, perfect. So they have to jump on each other's heads, but if they jump too far away, then they still hit the kill brick. All right, it's okay, we fixed it. We recovered, guys, it's fine. And now we can move the starter wall. We can start the races in three, two, one. Here we go, everybody's going. Oh, it's beautiful, guys. Look, they're making it. Look at all of the children trying to fall. Oh, and some of them are already succumbing to the first obstacle. All right, let me move the wall back. Anybody who didn't make it out, just too bad, man. They're all racing each other. This is the most interesting thing that I've ever done. And they're all moving at such slow speeds. It's kind of hilarious. Oh, these idiots stepped on the kill bricks. Look at these dummies. And now they're seizing up the game. The game is having a stroke because too many parts are getting spread because everyone's dying. This is the laggiest game of Fall Guys that I've ever seen in my life. Fall Guys, but not epic. All right, it's looking like a few people are making it to the end. A few people have died along the way, but a few are doing it. All right, I'm gonna resize this final tightrope so people have to make an even tighter squeeze. Ooh, what if I suddenly make it drop by like a stud? <laughs> did that affect anybody? I don't think it did. Wow, look, everybody's making it to the green platform, guys. This is so great. This guy's doing the Fortnite happy dance, which is a little disturbing to see a Fall Guys character do that. What if I do slash E monkey? Oh, yo, let's go, guys. Fall Guy dance, real life? No way. Real, no clickbait. How are the people at the very end doing? The monkeys at the bottom of the barrel, how are they still holding up? They're participating. They're trying their hardest to get over this wall. Here, I'm just gonna go ahead and end their misery by moving this platform away. I'm sorry, you guys. You tried your hardest, but now it's time to relax after all these years. I think I'm gonna move away the tightrope, too, just to end these guys' misery who still haven't made it across yet. Now we have have our finalists. Now you must duel to the death. Sword all. Now everybody in the game has a sword. Everybody at spawn's gonna try and kill each other, but that's okay. As long as these people also try to kill each other. Oh, it's so laggy. They're moving like an etch-a-sketch. Who will die? Who will live? Find out. This is so bad, man. This is so bad. Barely anybody's even able to move, dude. Here, I have an idea. What if we drag the kill brick inside of the spawn so everybody in spawn dies? dies and loses their sword. So we eliminate all spawn killing and only focus on the end killing. You know, the killing that matters. There we go. Now, everybody inside of spawn should be dead. Everybody should have officially kicked the bucket by now, at least. Oh, dear lord, I failed to account for the fact that that would make the game even laggier with more people dying. Okay, back to the finalists. A few people are still vibing. I'm gonna try and make the platform smaller. Gosh, this game is lagging, dude. This is not
not good at all. The platform will shrink in five seconds. That's right, now everybody's going to the middle. Now everybody's taking it seriously. Now that we're shrinking the platform and forcing them to battle it out with each other. That's right, idiots. Too close for comfort? What, are you gonna cry? Or are you gonna start swinging your sword and winning the battle royale? Oh, look at this idiot over in the corner trying to keep a distance from everybody else. It looks like there's four people left. Four people left on the final platform. I'm still just shrinking it little by little. Oh, three people left. We got our final three. They're gonna have to start swinging their swords one of these days. Oh, two, final two, and one! The winner of the game! Who is our winner? What is the name of the man who has won? Someone in chat says Jameer Brown won. Let me bring Jameer. Is that actually him? It is, it's him. I can't see his name tag for some reason, so I had to find it out by doing that. He's not in the group. Why is he not in the group? He needs to join. All right, there we go. We gave him 1,000 Robux. All for you, Jameer Brown 22. And here, instead of just ending it off where I leave, I'll actually get the starter gate out so people can leave if they want. People can explore the Fall Guys game if they do so wish. And now with that being said, I'm gonna end the video. That was really fun. I'm glad that I did that. Subscribe if you liked it. Die if you don't. I don't care, man. Bye.